Hi there. So, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I got Banana, and we're gonna be talking about the Diamondback Terrapin, also known as the Malasemius Terrapin Terrapin. So, I've had a lot of hands on research with the Diamondback Terrapin from a bunch of camps that I went to, and I also did my own research, which you can find links in the description. And, uh, I'll start talking about the Diamondback Terrapin. So the Diamondback Terrapin is the only turtle species in New Jersey that lives in brackish water. Brackish water is a mixture of salt and fresh water and is found in a lot of and is found in a lot of bays and areas around that. They can also inhabit salt water, but mostly inhabit brackish water for their entire lives. I'll get them in a second. They are medium-sized turtles with males being four to five and a half inches and females being six to nine inches. So now the color of the Diamondback Terrapin is highly varied. They normally have a gray, brown, or black carapace, which is darker than their background, which is their underbelly. He's making a mess. And their skin is usually a light to a dark gray, and it always has black spots on it. And their habitat is brackish water in coastal salt marshes, estuaries, tidal creeks, and ditches in brackish water. So now, there are seven subspecies of the Diamondback Terrapin. And the only subspecies that's found in New Jersey is the Northern Diamondback Terrapin. So there's the Northern, Carolina, Florida East Coast, Main Grove, Ornate, Mississippi, and Texas. Those are all the subspecies, and they all have slight differences in their looks and definitely differences in where they live. So, now the diet of the Diamondback Terrapin. It's usually mol mollusks, crustaceans, uh, which include but are not limited to snails, fiddler crabs, mussels, blue and green crabs, marine worms, fish, and carrion. Uh, few pictures of food here that come up as I talk. So now up here, the northern diamondback terrapin, it gets pretty cold, so they do need to hibernate. These guys usually will hib hibernate at the bottom of the bay or in muddy banks, but after they hibernate, they'll all usually mate. They mate in the early spring. They lay 8 to 12 eggs in the sand, which will be laid during June to July even though they can be laid later, and I have seen that. They hatch in about 61 to 104 days, and the eggs are TSD, temperature set, de set determination. So that means that depending on the temperature, the gender of the baby will change, which is pretty cool. And that's why when you do move Diamondback Terrapin eggs, if you do, you need to keep them in the same place and all of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about my work with the Diamondback Terrapins. So, over my camps, which are, we're all stationed at Island Beach State Park at this Sedge Camp, I have to grab them. I work with the Diamondback Terrapin Research Project. So for that project, we collected Diamondback Terrapin eggs when they were laid on the ground. So up at the camp, they had a sandy spot for diamondback terrapin eggs, diamondback terrapins to lay their eggs. We then, once the females laid their eggs, we collected the females. We, stay here. We measured, weighed them, and then we unburied the eggs before any predators could get to them. We collected them, we measured and weighed them as well. Then we put them in a protective cage and we put them in the same order that they were laid. So the ones that were laid first and were at the bottom were still at the bottom. Because as I said, the eggs are TSD, temperature sets determined. So that means that the ones at the bottom, were, we didn't want to change the gender after they were placed. So now, after we tagged and released the female, she was off on her merry way, didn't, wasn't really bothered with us moving her eggs. And then in a few weeks, 61 to 104 days, the eggs hatch. 
if they hatch early enough in the year, they will be released. But certain eggs are kept, certain babies are kept back and are actually sent to schools and other programs where they take care of them for the winter and then they'll be released in the spring, which gives the babies a lot better chance of survival and just all around better. So that's all about the Diamondback Terrapin. Now I gotta say before I leave, this was the hardest video to record because of this little maniac. He would not stop jumping and bananas crazy. What can you say? Now he stays still. Why aren't talking about me? Anyway, so catch you guys on the next video and you gonna jump. We're out. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all the hard work that I put into these videos and so that I can keep creating them. Alright. Now me and Banana, see you guys on the next video.